Hi, this is JB from Know the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to a special playthrough video where I try the new parallel Jim Culver deck and uh, I am playing the challenge scenario Play to Rest that was just uh, released with uh, Jim's cards on FFG's website. So I uh, printed out the cards and uh, did some arts and crafts and uh, made myself a set for Jim's cards and the cards for the late rest scenario. So in this scenario uh, the goal is to get heretics out of the spirits deck onto beyond and with the help of Jean Devro uh, that is a uh, aloof ally, uh, not an ally but a uh, aloof enemy on, on the uh, table uh, with the help of him, uh, we are trying to defeat uh, these heretics and we need to defeat four heretics. Uh, there are some uh, vengeful spirits underneath those locations there. So uh, we are in for some spectre uh, events here. So uh, this is a, a rehash of the Wages of Sin scenario. So we have the Spectre Encounter deck and the Normal Encounter deck. Also we have the Beyond and the Spirits deck here. And uh, I have made a Jim uh, Parallel Investigator deck uh, using the parallel back and front of the Jim Carlover uh, Parallel Investigator. So first up let's see what my deck is all about. So we'll hop over to ArkhamCDB.com. Okay, and this is my uh, 39 experience deck, uh, I mean 38 experience deck, so even though it says uh, 35 here, uh, the cards in my spirit deck that have experience co uh, will mount up to the XP value of the deck, so uh, let's go uh, from the assets here. So hand assets, we have the Jim's Trumpet, and this is the upgraded version. And uh, then we have one sign magic because I have really many spells. Jim's ability lets us uh, put charges on our assets when we draw a curse token or a skull token. So I'm trying to utilize that. And because we have a uh, curse and bless deck, I am running the paradoxical covenant. So if we draw a Bless and a Curse token, that is an uh, automatic success for the test, so we are trying to do that. Uh, of course my spells are uh, Curse focused, so Armageddon uh, level 4, Eye of Chaos level 4, and then I have one copy of Cerebellion level 3, just to get the third combat spell. Then I wanted to try Blur, and I was thinking of getting the uh, 4 XP versions, but I ran out of experience because I wanted to keep the deck underneath uh, 40 experience. So I ended up taking the level 1 versions. Then uh, I have token of faith, so whenever one or more curse tokens or auto pale tokens are revealed, uh, exhaust uh, token of faith add that many blessed tokens to the chaos pack. So this lets us put uh, blessed tokens in. Then we have David Grenfield as our ally here. Uh, favor of the Moon, Favor of the Sun. These are just so I have uh, Curse and Blessed tokens to pull whenever I need them. Then uh, we have Prophetic times 2. This is just because we are uh, spell heavy, so we want to have this so I can boost my skills and pay, pay them with this. So I'm uh, not stranded in resources that much. Uh, then uh, uh, we have Forstian Bargain for economy and curses. Uh, we have Keep Faith for blesses. We have Temp Faith for both. And then we have Pay. This is a really good card because we are probably getting a lot of curse tokens in the back. So we can spend this and if we draw a curse token then we get this back into our hand which is good. So it negates the one curse we pull. 
Uh, then we have two gods, just because we are willpower heavy, and of course promise of power, which is really strong, and adds curse tokens into the bag. Uh, the weaknesses we have, uh, we have four, uh, I mean five basic weaknesses. Uh, no, four basic weaknesses, well, we have day of reckoning, so our elder time might go away. We have the Dread Curse, which adds Curse Tokens into our bag, so not that worried about that one. Then we have Paranoia, which will strip off uh, our resources, and we have the thing that follows. So that's uh, annoying. And uh, with the um, parallel team deck, and in this scenario, uh, we have to have the Spirits deck. So we have to pick uh, nine different ally cards. They don't have to be... Um, Unique allies, but I ended up picking unique allies. So we have Alice Luxley, Brother Xavier, uh, Dr. Ellie Horowitz. This is because uh, she can try to fetch uh, the trumpet out of our bag, or I mean deck. Then we have Dr. Milan, Jeremiah Kirby, Leo De Luca, Olive McBride and uh, Peter Sylvester level 2. So that is the whole deck. So I'm trying to play a lot of uh, Curse and Bless tokens into my Chaos Pack and try to fetch Curse and Blesses to auto succeed or something like that. But we'll see how that goes. So uh, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of going on, uh, but I'm not really sure if I can beat this uh, on my first try, so this is a blind run, and I'm playing on standard difficulty, but still, it can be quite quite a lot of things happening all the time, so uh, we'll see how this goes, and if I don't succeed, then that's that, but uh, that is the point of a challenge scenario. Uh, one thing to point out, uh, the setup instructions uh, makes us put clues onto locations without any clues at the start if they don't have any clues. So these locations, even though they says state zero, uh, you put one clue on them. And that is basically everything I wanted to say before we start. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to begin. So first off, uh, I I think we want to go over some cars here, just so uh, if you're not familiar with the team uh, parallel investigator or his abilities or what the act and agenda reads, let's go over them. So we'll start with Jim Culver. So the stat line is the same, uh, performer curse traded after you reel one or more skull or uh, Curse tokens during a skill test you are performing replenish one charge on an asset you control, limit once per round. And Elder Sign is effect is plus two, you may treat this token as if it were a skull or a curse token instead. So uh, curses or uh, skulls are not zero. So we need to remember that. Uh, then we have this spirit deck, deck uh, which is here. We have the Beyond in play. So Jim. Culver deck only permanent. Each attached spirit loses all printed traits and gains the uh, guy's trait. When damage uh, or horror would be placed on uh, an attached spirit, it must be placed on Jim Culver instead. Fourth, when you your turn begins, attach the top card of the spirit's deck to the beyond as a spirit. If Four or more spirits are attached, flip this card and resolve its text. So there's a story text on, underneath. We'll read it once we get four spirits there. Then uh, the tokens or skulls are minus x axis. One more than the number of uh, copies of unfinished business in the victory display. And uh, cultist is minus x x is the number of cards attached to the beyond. And... Uh, Tablet is a minus X. X is the number of spectral locations in play. And uh, Elder Thing to token is a minus two. If there is a guy's enemy at your location, reveal another token. Then 
uh, we have the gathering mists. So Hangman's Hill is crawling with specters. Forced when the enemy battalion begins, deal one damage to Jean, Jean Devereaux for each uh, ready ravenous spirit at his location. Forced if Jim Culver is defeated, advance the act. Uh, uh, action spent two clues per investigator as a group parlay. You banish a spirit, discard the top card of the spirit's deck, hint, uh, draw heretics out of the beyond, and summon them with Jean's help. And we have the act laid to rest. If you help this ghost, they'll help you. Uh, pre trigger ability either exhaust Jim's trumpet or spend one clue as a group. Choose an enemy to move once towards Jim's Culver's location, or a fast trigger ability, spend one clues as a group, flip your location, group lead once per round per location. Objective if there are four copies of unfinished business in the victory display, advance. Okay, well, uh, let's draw our opening hand. So, one, two, three, four, five. We get Blur, uh, Promise of Power, Prophetic, Token of Faith, and David Renfield. Uh, I think I'm uh, ditching these and drawing two more cards. So we get a Blur and a Keep Faith. So no uh, Spell Assets yet. But we'll see how this starts going. I think it will be a setup turn here. So giving the deck a quick shuffle here. Okay, so my turn begins. So we reveal the first card, and it is Leo de Luca. So it is attached to Beyond, and we have an extra action so far as uh, Leo de Luca is in play. Okay, so first thing first, we'll play David. Renfield, put one doom on him, I'll exhaust uh, Renfield to get the resource. Second action, we'll play Token of Faith. And uh, we have two more actions, I'll take a resource and play Prophetic. And that is our turn. Uh, no, uh, well, there is an enemy, so patrol and uh, nearest location with a ravenous spirit enemy beneath it. So these are ravenous spirits. So not vengeful, but ravenous. So we'll move Jean Devereaux once up to the abandoned chapel. And nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep, we draw guts, ready up, gain a resource, so that is the first round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so we have two doom in play, encounter card for this round is, diabolic voices, test will about three. For each point you fail by, discard one random card from your hand. For each card you cannot discard, take one horror or one damage. This test gets plus one difficulty for each copy of Diabolic Voices in the discard. So I'm committing guts to this test. So I'm testing six versus three. I mean seven versus three because we have David in play. It is a minus one. We pass. We draw a card. And it is temp fate. So, as a fast action, I will play Temp Fates. We add three curses and three blesses to the Chaos Pack. Then we will exhaust David Renfield to add a resource and uh, We'll play Keep Faith. So we add four more blesses. One, two, three, 
four. Let's just go into the chaos bag. So that is everything done fast. So we have still, uh, we uh, yeah, at the start of our turn, we get Jeremiah Kirby. So uh, before any of that, uh, we get Alpic. Uh, odds one, two, three, four, five. Odd, 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 and this we shuffle in. So, favor of the moon, that's actually. Actually, a good one to have because we only have a uh, three curses, but a lot of blesses. So next round, I'll play favor of the moon. So we get plus one uh, intellect from Jeremiah Kirby, and. Uh, Yeah, so first action, I'll get a resource, second action, I'll play Favor of the Moon, so we'll fetch Curses, and of course I have a full bag of Blesses, but it's difficult to find the Curses, so just a moment, well, I'll grab those. Okay, and I'll just double check. So after an investigator identification performs, they reveal chaos token step of a skill test. If both uh, blessed and cursed tokens were revealed during the test, exhaust paradoxical covenant. This test automatically succeeds. See, it's uh, remove uh, its blessed and cursed token revealed from the chaos back after this test ends. Okay. So, um, I will also play uh, Blur. With the uh, Prophetic. And uh, last action, I'll try to investigate. So I'm investigating 3 versus 4, but if we hit up less, I think I'm using, uh, no, minus 3, so no point in trying anything else, so that is that round. No, uh, well, this enemy moves here. And... Uh, I have no idea how to get this. Maybe they will flip once this advances. I don't know. Okay, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. Another David Grenfield and get a resource. This is replenished. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So three of uh, four encounter card is a coven initiate. So it comes into play with us, so discard the top two cards. It doesn't cause the deck to run out, so we have this enemy on, on us. So uh, I'm thinking of using Blur. So I'm using Blur, so we get plus one skill value, and I'm using my willpower. And uh, first off, we will put one Doom on Renfield and Exhaust to get two resources. So we are trying to blur. So we are testing uh, four, five, six versus two. Minus one, so we evade and deal one damage. Uh, 
If you succeed, spend one charge and you may take an additional action this round. Oh yeah, no, we don't take a damage or make uh, dealer damage. So uh, that enemy is exhausted there. I think we'll just leave it there, exhausted, and uh, use the extra action to move here. Then first action is to play another prophetic. So we have two prophetics in play. So we really don't need to worry about resources on spells. And uh, I'll play shriveling using these. And uh, last action, we'll investigate here. So I'm investigating three versus two. It is a bless. And uh, yeah, so we are five versus two. Okay, another bless and an auto fail. Well, that sucks. I should have used one of the uh, Blessing of the Moons, but I didn't. So, yeah, that is that round. No enemy actions. Uh, Jean is already at the Chapel Crypt, so can't move more. We'll go to upkeep. We draw. Oh, yeah. Uh, we haven't revealed a bless. Favor of the Sun. That's good. And we get a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so I forgot to replenish prophetics. And they are not uh, unique, so I can have two in play at the same time. So we add a doom, so the agenda advances. Let's see what happens. The hour grows late. A cold wind blows down the haunted hill. Chilling your bones, the spirits grow more and more restless. Place one horror on the scenario reference card under spiritual disturbance. If there is four horror on the scenario reference card, it is the investigator who has not been eliminated is defeated and suffers one mental trauma. Resolution 2. Otherwise, if there is three or fewer horror on the scenario reference card, perform the following place clues on each location until it has... Uh, one clues per investigator on it, flip each location except for Jin Devereaux's location to its non-spectral side, flip this agenda back over. Okay, so we don't flip anything because we don't have us any spectral locations in play yet. Okay, so encounter card is... Be deviled, put be deviled in the play in your threat area. You cannot trigger action abilities on cards you control. Well, that sucks. Uh, test willpower 3. If you succeed, discard uh, be deviled. If there is an exhausted witch enemy at your location, this test automatically succeeds. And first things first, we will reveal Dr. Milan. So, oh yeah, and my intellect is boosted by 2. So first things first, we'll get a resource with the Renfield, so we're ready, exhaust, and get a resource. And uh, first action, I will play Favor of the Sun. Before we lose all of our blesses. Okay. Then I will test willpower 5 versus 3. Auto fail. I'll try again. 5 versus 3. Okay, I'm, I'm just exhausting these using both. So we ought to succeed. These go away. Get rid of this. 
and these are exhausted. And this is exhausted. Okay. And we reveal, so we add one plus token to the back, and we get to put one charge here because we revealed a curse token. Okay. So I'll try to investigate here. No, uh, now we have a heretic which we want to get there and into play next round. So I am uh, investigating uh, with 5 versus 2. All the fail. Well, and that a bitch. We're <laughs> only drawing all, all the fails. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw the thing that follows. So it spawns us at the furthest location. It is over there. So it starts uh, moving towards us, but it is what it is, and we gain a resource, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we add a doom, and counter card for this round is uh, Vengeful Witch, so spawn gallows or heretic graves. We'll spawn it at the gallows. Oh yeah. Um, next round that starts moving. So that which is there. Okay. Well, then we add the heretic here. So we need to flip this over. Force one at a time. Choose each non-weakness spirit attached to the beyond and reveal. Uh, a random token from the chaos pack. Okay. So we start from the heretic. So you must either discard this spirit or take one direct damage. We will take one direct damage. Next up, uh, Jeremiah. Uh, no, Milan. Christopher, we will discard Milan. So discarded cards go to the bottom of the spirit deck, not to our discard pile. Next up we have Jeremiah Kirby, Skull, uh, discard the spirit heal one horror. We don't have it. Okay, well that sucks. And lastly, Leo De Luca, which we really want to keep in play. Plus one, uh, discard the spirit. Well, at least we get to keep the heretic on the beyond. Okay, well, let's see. We really need to get some clues here, so I'm investigating, and uh, uh, yes, let's ready all of these. So first off, we are getting one resource, then we'll investigate, and I'm using these two. So we ought to succeed. Uh, I can't replenish anything because these are full. But we get one clue. Actually, we'll move here and do it here. Okay. And uh, let's see. So, so action draw a face down card beneath Jean De Rose location and choose a heretic attached to the beyond parley jim culver draws the chosen heretic flip it and resolve its text so i'm doing that so we get uh 
monster, guy, spectral, elite, uh, 4, fight, 4, health, 4, evade, aloof, patrol, gen, rose, location, retaliate, uh, ravenous spirit gets plus 2 health per investigator, so 6 health, forced when the enemy enters a location, flip, uh, this enemy enters a location, flip that location to its spectral side, one at a time, each investigator at that location resolve each haunted ability on it. Okay, so the haunted ability here is find the topmost hex treachery in the standard encounter discard pile and put it into play in your threat area. Okay, so we get bedeviled, which sucks. So this is aloof. And uh, when does this guy take damage? So uh, when the enemy phase begins, deal one damage on Jinder Row for each ready Ravenous Spirit on that location. Okay, this is uh, getting <laughs> quite uh, hard. Okay, so we get this and flip it over. Can't be dead. Uh, Okay, yeah, province we cannot die, the spirit, uh, spiteful uh, raid does not relent, your words cannot reach it, but perhaps you can lay it to rest by force. Flip this card back to its enemy side, it takes an immediate, it makes an immediate attack, the next time it is defeated, it is uh, banished. Okay, so it's engaged with us. And uh, we have one action, so I'm uh, trying to get rid of... Oh yeah, it makes an immediate attack, so we are taking one damage and one horror. Oh yeah, and we added one bless because we revealed it. One curse token earlier. And yeah, this is also exhausted. Uh, we are trying to evade the heretic. Uh, no, we are just trying to get rid of the bedevil, so it hits us for one damage and one horror. Okay, so uh, cultist is minus X, so it's zero, no cards there, so we actually... Oh yeah, uh, we succeed. Yeah, we are getting rid of this. Okay, enemy phase, this guy hits us again. Uh, we are taking a bunch of damage here. And upkeep... Oh yeah, uh, this guy takes one damage also. So upkeep, <coughs> we draw a card, favor of the sun, gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, a um, lot of things to happening here, so we'll add a doom. Uh, we forgot to ready all of these. Okay, uh, we draw one from the, this deck, so Terror in the Night test will power 4. If you fail, put Terror in the Night next to blah blah blah. Mm. I'm just testing uh, 5 versus 4, really don't care about this. Uh, tablet is uh, minus X is the number of spectral locations in place, so minus 1, so we actually pass Good readings. Then we get Alex Luxley. So, first action. We are getting a resource. I'm just putting a new extra doom here. Two resources. We will shrivel. And uh, I'll guarantee to kill this with this. So, 
auto success uh, we get to add one less here and replenish one here and we deal two damage second action will uh, shrivel and I'm using all of these to boost it by four so we are four five six seven eight nine ten eleven versus four bless thirteen versus four minus two so this is defeated and it goes into the victory display so we have at least one one there now free to go I think we are not making it this game but we'll have to see so oh yeah this guy should have moved away okay so this guy moves here moved here last round and this guy left also because it has patrol change of rows location so I think we are following there next round we are getting a ne next heretic so I think that's good so oh yeah these are removed because they ran out of juice and enemy phase so Gene takes one damage and uh, we ready up and uh, uh, we draw a card and it is final rhapsody advanced real five chaos tokens from the chaos pack for each non uh, elder sign or bless symbol token reveal take one damage and one horror okay one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five horror or damage. Oh, oh, and horror. Oh, sh uh, we are pretty dead here. So, one, two. So one and one, so we take four and uh, we are dead. So that basic weakness, uh, not that uh, signature weakness just killed us. Oh, that, that sucks. So we still had like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, four blessed tokens there. Okay, that, that is nasty because we needed we needed to reveal at least one non uh, one elder sign or blessed token to survive that but we didn't ouch well uh, that's Arkham horror for you so that game ended shortly so we are defeated, so we have to read this. If Jim Culver is defeated, the advanced the act. So... Oh yeah, advanced the act, not the agenda. Uh, if this act advanced via its objective now, otherwise it's too much. Jim screams and he holds his hand to his ble bleeding ears. A cacophonous cry echoes across the windswept hill as you both flee the scene. As you both flee the scene, Jim Culver suffers one mental trauma for each heretic enemy still in the beyond. Two minimum of one mental trauma, so we take one mental trauma. Each other investigator who was not eliminated is defeated and suffers one mental trauma. Resolution two. Okay, and the resolution two.
Let's see. Jean cusses as you stumble away from Hangman's Hill. Head hung low. Sorry, my friend, he says. The dead speak, but they don't always listen. A mordant call from inhuman lips sweeps across the expanse, underscoring the me medium's words. Jim Culvern earns experience equal to the combined victory X value of each enemy in the victory display. Each other investigator earns experience equal to the combined victor X value of each location in the victory display. Jim Culver must either upgrade Final Rhapsody to its advanced version or downgrade the advanced version of Jim's trumpet to its original version. Well, uh, that really doesn't matter. We got defeated and uh, yeah, uh, well, the deck performed okay. I think I forgot to move these enemies last round, but it really doesn't matter. But um, yeah, uh, the deck Deck seems okay, but that that uh, weakness is nasty. Uh, it's it's quite literally you have to have like ten blessed tokens in chaos bag at all times before you draw that, just to have a fighting chance to survive. Or you have to have the power, uh, favor of the sun in play at least uh, to negate one. But yeah. That was uh, the la late to rest uh, challenge scenario with uh, Parallel Team Culver. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time. Okay, well, um, we are back. Um, I just reread the uh, final rhapsody. So, for each non Elder Sign, non uh, Bless symbol token reveal so I didn't reveal any of those so we don't take any damage or any horror so David Renfield is back with two doom one damage and uh, yeah we'll continue because we didn't get defeated yet uh, sorry about that uh, new cards and when I'm filming I might miss something so, yeah, forget we read anything about those resolutions or anything like that. So, yeah, we got one resource also last round. Okay, so, continuing. We add a Doom, so we actually advance the agenda. Oh yeah, there should be one more here. And uh, I had three and three on Jim. So, uh, we do this again. So, place clues on each occasion. We only got this one clue here. And flip each occasion except the Gene Devereux occasion to its non spectral side. So, this flips back. Oh, yeah, this uh, flipped last round. Did it do so? Discard a random card from your hand, two cards instead. If you have five more cards in your hand, okay. So we lost one of these cards. We lose David Renfield, that's okay. And uh, we continue. So we are at the spectral location. We draw Malevolent Spirit uh, Chapel Attic or Chapel Crypt. Put it in the Chapel Crypt to delay <laughs> delay the dead. Uh, okay. Well, well, well. Um, I think I'm playing the favor of the sun. It's actually a fast action. So let's draw three bless tokens. We really need the blesses at right about now. Yeah, we might not last that much longer by the way, but yeah. And this it moves here. So uh, we will 
immediately use gender rows ability to read the backside of this so that is our first action come join us uh, so put this card back to its enemy side it makes an immediate attack for the remainder of the scenario this enemy cannot be defeated by any means its parlay ability can only be activated while at the spectral location and it costs uh, one clues to trigger the next time this side is resolved the ghost is banished okay so we need to banish it Plus one clues to trigger. That sucks. Uh, add the clues. That sucks. Okay, uh, we are evading this. And I'm actually using one blessed token to have a better chance. And it is a minus two. There is a guy's enemy here, so we reveal another one. It is plus one, so we pass and get an extra action. So the extra action will be to move. And lastly, we'll investigate. We need another clue here. So this is uh, evaded, and there. Uh, we are investigating. Uh, Four versus two. Minus two. We'll grab one clue. That's enough. We can head back up there next round. Enemy face. Ah, uh, fuck. These enemies uh, engage us. And I <coughs> totally forgot this even exists. So they will hit us for one damage. One damage. One horror. One horror. So I'm actually getting rid of David Renfield at this moment. Okay, well, uh, let's hopefully defeat another heretic, and after that we'll see. Okay, upkeep, we draw. Ha! <laughs> Lose all of you, but one of your, uh, discard all of your resources. Well, that sucks. Well, that's not that bad, but it still sucks. And gain a one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Um, we had a Doom and Counter Card, and we are a normal location. Century Secrets Test Willpower 5. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If it occurs, treachery is discarded by the effect. Deal 1 direct damage to your investigator and each of your ally assets. Now I'm testing uh, 4 versus 5. Minus 2. No geists here. So three, one, two, three, omen, omen, and a witch, humanoid. Okay, so that whiffed. First action, we will uh, shrivel uh, the thing that follows. I am using two from here. Oh yeah, uh, we get one. We get Peter Sylvestre, which is uh, okay. We have a plus to our willpower and agility. Uh, so we are uh, hitting 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 versus 3. Uh, skull is minus 1, uh, minus 2. We defeat the thing that follows. And we shuffle it back into our deck. Then uh, we need to defeat the Vengeful Witch. Or we could just evade it. Yeah, we'll evade it. Uh, I'm evading it. 
I need the extra action for the parlay. Oh yeah, um, before we do anything else, uh, Jean Devereaux is flipped over and heals all damage. So Hunter, Prey, Jim Culver only, Parlay test, uh, Willpower 3, this test gets plus one difficult reach, copy of the unfinished business in the victory display. If you succeed, heal all damage from Jean Devereaux and flip him, he is no longer engaged. Forced, if Jean Devereaux is defeated, advance the act. Okay. Yeah, so we are evading, and we are evading 5, 6, 8, 9, uh, 8 versus 3, minus 1. This switch is evaded, we get an extra action which we'll use to move, then we will parlay, spend 2 plus, and this vengeful Heretic goes to the victory display. Okay. So this engages us, hits us for one damage. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, uh, Oh yeah, this uh, should have flipped also. I think this would have moved last round. Uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I may have messed up, but uh, I tried to... There's so many things moving and I have to focus on the filming and everything, so I'm making a mess, but... We try to play as close to the rules as possible. Okay, well, that guy hits us for one damage of one horror. We're nearly dead. Uh, that's the end of the enemy phase. Well, those guys hit this guy for two damage. Upkeep. We draw promise of power and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom. If we are at a spectral location, so here in the night, yeah, we uh, also should have a separate deck for the spirit cards, so that is there, and uh, yeah, so we draw this, and we are testing five versus four. Minus three, we fail, and we don't fail, but we are more. So I'll put this next to here. Okay. First action, we will parlay this uh, Jean de Bro using this. I'll put one curse into the back. So we are uh, five. Oh yeah, we get one here. So Olive, not pride. Uh, so promise of power plus. I think I should be killing the ravenous spirits at some point, but I don't have the time. But I'm parling. Yeah, we succeed. We heal all damage from here and flip this back on this side so it doesn't hit us. And uh, second action, we'll move down here, this engages us, and we will evade. I'm using two up from here. Minus two, uh, three, we still succeed, so it's evaded. We have an extra action. We'll use that to uh, fire off uh, shriveling on it. Minus three, we hit, we 
deal two damage. Oh, uh, the skull was still out of time. I'll redraw. Uh, auto fail. Well, of course, we take one hole. Okay, that's bad. But what can we do? Enemy face. Uh, this moves down here. These guys follow. Hit two damage on that gene guy there. There. Uh, I'll keep this guy ready in case it's us. And uh, we draw Postian Bargain and gain a resource. So not quite helpful, but that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Uh, we are at uh, not spectral location, so we draw Priestess of the Coven. Well, it engages us. I think this is uh, the end. Upkeep. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm uh, rustled here. So uh, we put this here and have to flip this and reveal the token. So for the heretic. Skull is discard the spirit heal one horror. So that goes underneath here. Next up, uh, Olive McBride. Zero, discard Peter Sylvestre. Minus two, discard. And Alice Loxley. Elder sign. Uh, discard. No, uh, an elder sign. You may either heal one horror or attach top card of the spirit deck to the beyond as a spirit. I'll do that. So we get Brother Xavier into play also. Okay, and this flips back over. Okay. We have three actions, uh, we have two enemies on us, and a bunch of stuff happening, so we're out of blurs. I think I'm trying to revolve this one. Oh yeah, we have plenty of these. We hit, we deal 2 damage, we try to punch it, I'm using one up from here, we are up by 3, minus 4, we miss, it retaliates 2, and we are dead, and now it's game over. So. We get resolution 2, and I already read that earlier, so not reading it again, but yeah, we only delayed the inevitable. There's so much going on in this scenario, so it's really, really challenging. I think this is the hardest uh, scenario so far from these uh, parallel investigator uh, challenge scenarios, but still we got halfway through, so we got two... Um, Heretics defeated and two remaining in our spirits deck. So again uh, Try this out if you get the chance to print out the cards and make the playing cards for for the challenge scenario and Jim Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time